losing it. Hey guys, so it's Jane from Leisure Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about Battlefield 5 and why EA paid Ninja, Daquan, Trout, Dr. Disrespect, and all these big streamers to play their game. Now, this wasn't a voluntary play session uh, when Battlefield had almost 300,000 viewers on Twitch. This was all paid for by EA, and they wanted all these streamers to stream their game. Uh, before getting this video, just like say, if you are new here, don't subscribe down below for much more content on everything in the Battlefield universe. I'm doing a Battlefield 5 giveaway in early August, so don't forget to stay tuned to the channel for that, but just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Ninja and all these guys, the main problem with them, sort of excluding Dr. D Disrespect and Shroud, is that they basically have not played a Battlefield game, or they barely played Battlefield games. <clears throat> uh, the team bag mechanic is good. And I'm just kind of joking around with that one. He obviously wasn't taking it too seriously. Uh, but if you watch a significant portion of the gameplay of a lot of these guys, they really did not have any clue what was going on. Yeah, they could shoot their guns okay, but just like stuff like the lack of spread, the fact that you need to burst the weapons and not full auto them, and stuff like that, they really just didn't understand. And um, they sort of portrayed the game in a way that isn't representative of how it's supposed to be played. And when you're sort of trying to market the game, you want people who know how to play the game to do that. You don't want new people marketing it because they might play it wrong and they might make it look bad to any consumer who's trying to buy it. Now, the reason why they did this is because there really is no other opportunity to get a live audience of like 100,000 people playing the game except at like a reveal event. Um, Battlefield 5 had like a couple hundred thousand people watching it during these streams. And you're not going to get that... Um, just by do EA pulling out their own stream or Battlefield pulling out their own stream or even just letting Battlefield streamers do it. Um, so I understand why they wanted to get the big audience. But one, the majority of the audience isn't watching the game for Battlefield. The problem with this kind of publicity is that it's mostly Fortnite players um, and sort of Fortnite streamers that were streaming this. There's a few PUBG streamers. I'm sure PUBG streamers and players will be more attracted to Battlefield than Fortnite streamers and players. But even if you look at the comment section on these videos and in chat, all of them are saying like SJW, Warfare, like women in Battlefield and all this stuff. And they're being very toxic about it. And uh, that sort of just speaks to the opinion of the game from the masses um, and just sort of people who aren't really giving the game a chance. And to sort of put the game on this big of a stage at this point, I'm not sure if it's necessarily ready for it. Um, it isn't alpha, but a lot of people were probably just seeing, oh, Battlefield 5, I'm going to check this out. And uh, if they got bad impressions from a game that is in the alpha stage, they likely might not buy it. So I'm not sure if it was the best idea to put it out on such a big stage, especially since EA s explicitly said that this was meant to be a technical test and not used for pl publicity purposes. That's why they weren't letting everyone into it, and that's why they were only picking a select few people to go into it. But yet on another token, they paid people to play the game for promotion purposes. So... They were kind of contradicting themselves there, and it's just, just kind of frustrating to see that these are the people that they turn to to promote the game. Um, and in addition to this, the stream itself was just poorly done. They had Battlefield players in their own squads, and like Fortnite and PUBG players in their own squads. What they should have done is they should have mixed and matched Battlefield players and Fortnite slash PUBG players and people who play other games so that the people who play Battlefield could tell them how to play it and sort of give them like cool tips about the game and then their chats would hear that stuff and they'd be able to hear cool stuff about the game about the new spread mechanics about how battlefield's upgrading the game stuff that they wouldn't hear if you're listening to dr disrespect he does play some battlefield he plays battlefield 4 and stuff on stream occasionally um but he's definitely nothing compared to like a player like stode who streams battlefield 1 all the time and really understands the franchise or even flak fire they should have mixed and matched the squads and it would have made it look a lot better but ultimately, guys, I just sort of wanted to talk about this right now. Uh, my overall impressions video from the Alpha will be likely be coming out tomorrow. And I'm going to be home tomorrow night, which is super hype, guys. I'm probably going to do a, some streams then on Twitch. Guys, I'm trying to get affiliated on Twitch right now. We're super close. We just need to stream for a couple more hours, and we should be good. So don't forget to follow over there, because I will be streaming on there, as well as YouTube, more frequently. 
Um, but again, boys, don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new here for much more content on everything in the Battlefield universe and to be entered into my monthly giveaway, which I have information about down below in the description. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.